Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, friends. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this poster design with this see-through typography here uh, in the middle of the poster. So I just have one favor to ask you, of course, if you learn anything in this tutorial, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. And if there's anything else that you want to see, place it in the comments. I'd be happy to add it to my list of tutorials to create for you. And now without further delay, let's get down to how I created this design so that you can create it too. All right, so I am starting off with a Facebook post. It is the size of 940 pixels by 788 pixels. And I'm going to start this design by placing a photo on my workspace. Here it is. Now I'm going to double click on this image and I'm going to make it a little bit larger because I really want the face to, to cover um, a lot of my workspace. So I'm just going to make it a little bit larger like that. I'm going to press R to place a rectangle on my workspace. And I'll place it right there. And I'll carry it that all the way down through to the bottom. I'm going to place some text on my workspace. I don't want to use Anton, so I'm going to use Horizon. And in here, I'm going to type in all caps, pink. After each letter, I'm going to press Enter. And I'm going to take this text and just bring it over here for now. I'm going to tighten up the spacing in between the paragraphs. So I'll decrease it. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to move it over so that it's right in the middle, halfway on this side, on the pink side, and halfway on her face. And I'm going to take this rectangle and I'm going to change the color of the rectangle to black. I'm going to take the text and I'm going to change the color of the text to white. And I'm just going to take an opportunity to make this a little bit bigger like that. I'm now going to take this and I'm going to make a copy of that whole page. I don't want the photo anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go to share and I'm going to download this page. And I only want page two. So I'm going to download it and I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to bring that page that I downloaded back into my workspace. I'm now going to remove the background. And if we go into BG Remover, we'll see that the background on, uh, behind the letters are, is now transparent. I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it in the center like that. And I'll make it a little bit bigger like that. I'm going to place that image back on my workspace. I'm going to place it as my background. And again, I'm going to double click and I'm going to resize it. Like that. I'm now going to take an opportunity to change the color of this uh, black image. So I'll go into edit and I'll go into duotone and I'm going to change both the highlights and the shadows to the whitest white. Now you can change it to any color at all. You can even change it to a nice hot pink if you like, but I'm going to leave it white and I'm going to go back to my first page and I'm going to grab this text. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to bring it back down here and I'm going to paste it and I'm going to take the overlay and I'm just going to bring it over a little bit to reduce that white space that's on the right side. I'll take this text and I'll bring it over and just try and match it. And I'm going to go into effects and I'm going to use the hollow effect to make the text hollow. I'm going to reduce the thickness. And
and I'll leave it like that. Now again, if you want to change the color to a hot pink, you could also change it to a hot pink by using Duotone. So I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you did, press that like button, press subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every single week. If there's anything else that you want to learn, place it down in the comments. I'd be happy to add it to my list of tutorials just for you. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.